It is commonplace to own a cell phone in today's society, but rarely before has it been of such importance. To most people, a cell phone is a matter of convenience, but to one man, a call he placed might be the key to solving his murder. It was an extremely hot summer evening on July the 30th, 2007. 27-year-old Munit Walia was sitting in his parked car, waiting for his girlfriend outside a daycare playground at 256 John Garland Boulevard. While he was waiting, Munit made a call to a friend on his cell phone. He was about to leave a voice message when he was approached by two men and an altercation ensued. Shortly after the altercation, Munit was murdered. He was shot point blank. Munit's car propelled forward and hit the car parked in front of him and the suspects fled the scene. What happened between Munit and the two suspects remains unclear. However, some indication was left on his friend's voicemail. What's different about this case is that Mr. Wally was on the phone, uh, was about to leave a message for a friend, and uh, the friend's answering machine had picked up. And before he was able to actually leave a message, this altercation happened and the message machine, the answering machine, caught uh, the discussion. After studying the phone conversation, police believe the nickname of the suspect is Blanks or Blinks. Listen to this audio recording of the conversation between what appears to be Munet and a male suspect. Can you hear what they're saying? The poor quality of the message makes it difficult to understand the conversation and even more difficult to identify the suspects. We've asked the public to listen to it and not only help us understand what's being said, because it is a little bit uh, convoluted, but also help us identify who the second male is. Police also have partial descriptions of the two suspects. The first suspect is a black male and he was wearing a black hoodie. The second suspect is male and possibly Hispanic. In Mr. Walia's case, we used YouTube for the first time. We posted the actual uh, conversation between the deceased and who we believe to be our suspect. And that has connected us with, a, with a people that I, that it fascinates me. Because just, there's just no way I'd be able to reach out to those people in any other form. Police are asking for help from witnesses and people who were in the area of the shooting the night of July the 30th, 2007. It was right in a very tight community. It was right in front of a playground. We know for a fact that there were people in the playground, and yet we've had very little uh, help from the public in this case. If they want this to stop, if they want the gunplay in their neighborhoods to stop, they have to come outside. They have to come outside, they have to talk to us, and they have to call. Crime Stoppers takes that, that, that problem away of being seen. But for those people who have real evidence, who, who could give it and actually testify to it, I think that eventually you have to weigh out how much you want this to stop, how much you want your city to be, uh, to be the city that's healthy and happy to live in. One more time, here's the audio recording of a conversation between Munit and a male suspect just moments before he was murdered. If you have any information about this case, call Crime Stoppers toll-free at 1-800-222. 
tips.